Hey, how you doing? My name is Frankie, sometimes called Manny, depending on who you ask. About three years ago, my life had hit rock bottom. I started coming to church uh, to be truthful. I didn't want to be there. Uh, I questioned my faith a lot. But God had begun to work a uh, transformation that's going on. It will go on until that day that I'm ready to go to heaven. And so I was the epitome of the story of the prodigal son, where the son leaves the father's house to do his own thing and ends up wasting all his money, everything he had, and just eating the crumbs that the pigs had left over. He comes to himself. He says, you know what? My father's rich. I need to go back home and just beg to be one of his servants. And so he goes back home. If you know the story, the father, an image of God, greets him, throws on a robe, throws him a party. He's just happy that he was lost and now he's found. And so uh, I thank God that I was still able to be found because I was definitely on that, on the right path. And so I said all that to say that part of how I dealt with things in my life that were ugly or dark or that I didn't want to tell other people was to write. I've been doing it since I was 18 and joined the Marine Corps. And so in an atmosphere where it's not cool to talk about feelings or being depressed, you know, I wrote them down and that was like free therapy for me. It was an outlet. Uh, recently, you know, I, life is ebbs and flows and ups and downs. And so I had a difficult situation or some difficult situations and I decided to write about them. And so as I started writing, I started thinking, man, why is it that all the stuff that I write, the best things that I put down on paper, they're always about negative or darkness or, uh, you know, they're from the dark corners of my heart. And I said, you know, I want to turn that into a positive. That's not who I am. That's not how I feel. That's not what God has done for me. And so uh, from that, this was born. I just wanted to share with everyone and hopefully it's a blessing to you.